Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft. We're doing another performance-based question today. This one's going to be on certificates. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to show you my thought process and going through this question. This should be very similar to what you'll see on the real test. And let's take a look. Okay, so we have a certificate here. We got a certificate, begin certificate, end certificate. And we have the certificate, uh, looks like it's a screenshot of a certificate. What best describes this certificate? Okay, well, there's a couple things we could tell about this certificate right away. Uh, first off, we can tell that this is going to be an ASCII formatted certificate. So you can tell these are ASCII characters as opposed to binary. So that tells us a little bit about the nature of the certificate itself. We also have here a header and a footer. So with that header and footer, we know some nature about this certificate. Now I want to think about what this certificate would mean or what would best describe this before I look at the answers because the answers might be misleading and that's usually how this how the tests will do it. Uh, they'll give you answers that are going to be a little misleading so you want to think about your answer carefully before you look at the answers provided. So we see begin certificate and that tells us that this is a certificate probably like an SSL certificate, a TLS certificate, transfer layer security certificate, because if it was something like a certificate signing request, it would say uh, signing request, begin signing request, end signing request. So I think that's one thing we can know about it. It's going to be in the, the CER format. Uh, that's a ASCII character format as opposed to DER. Uh, DER is a binary format usually used with Java. So let's see what they ask us about. Choose all that apply. DER, CER. Well, it's not DER. We know that because it's in that ASCII format. So CER would apply here. Dot PEM. Now it could be dot uh, PEM. That's a privacy enhanced mail. It's a type of certificate initially designed to protect email, but now it's used for a lot of different certificate formats. I don't think I have enough information. Well, it could be. I mean, this could be a pen, dot .pem certificate. Dot .pem certificates do have that header and that footer. So, I, we could we could potentially pick that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pick that then, just because of that header and the footer. Not super clear if this is self-signed or not. A self-signed certificate is going to be one that is provided and signed by the same certificate authority that, or a private certificate authority. So it's not recognized, it's not a global certificate authority like Iden Trust or DigiCert. It's uh, done in a, a private uh, PKI infrastructure. Now, I, I, there's nothing on here that tells me, without decoding this, there's nothing on here that tells me that this is self-signed or not. So I'm going to leave that blank. Certificate signing request, it's not that. And that's kind of the example I used earlier. Is I would say begin signing request, or if this was a key, it would say begin key, end key at the header and the footer. So it's not that. And X.509, that's just a format of certificates. It's like a, a standard for you know, how certificates guidelines for how certificates are made. So it would fall under that X509 if it's a .pem certificate. So I think that makes the most sense here. I think that makes the most sense. It's pretty tricky. Okay, let's go on. Okay. All right, you receive a ticket from a user. Ticket 41128 22 April 2024 1412, so it's just a timestamp from Josh Brodson. Okay, that's a name. Uh, I tried to access the Cybercraft intranet to do some course development, but my browser said that the connection was untrusted. Examine the user certificates on the machine and see the following. Okay, so let's take a look here at these certificates. That's just a certificate store on the machine okay 
So this doesn't. This looks normal to me. You also verify Cybercraft's intranet certificate is valid and pull the following information. Okay, CybercraftTrain.com. ISRG root. This is a root certificate. Uh, subject name. Okay, the organization is the Internet Security Research Group. ISRG root X1. That's the root certificate to show us the certificate chain. All the certificates issued by ISRG would be linked to that root certificate. It's an RSA certificate with a key size. I don't want to look at the answers yet. I'm going to figure this out beforehand. Okay, so I think what we're trying to drive at here is, is this root certificate in the certificate store? So it'd be ISGR. Okay, and no, it's not. Okay, so we're not, we don't have that root certificate. We don't have IS or ISRG, ISRG in here because it would fall between, it's alphabetically placed here. We have Ident Trust, uh, but we don't, and we have a Microsoft, we don't have ISRG. Okay, so I think that's the main thing there. That's the main, let's see, what is the likely cause of the user's issue? User machine is incapable of storing certificates. Well, it clearly has certificate. The Cybercraft's intranet certificate has been revoked. That's not true. Is this, or is it true? Valid before... Okay, no. The, the root certificate is still valid. It's valid till 2035. So that's not right. Intranet certificate is no longer valid. No. Broken chain of trust. That makes sense because we don't have that root certificate. The user needs to be running Linux to access the intranet. No, that's not... That doesn't make sense. Okay. So yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward. Okay. Last one. Which of the following are valid certificate file extensions? Okay. So let's take a look here. .bfx .crt .cer .der .pem and .lob. Okay. This sounds right, but I'm pretty sure it's .pfx, not .bfx. That's, so it's not going to be that one. That's tricky, though. If you sound it out, it sounds right, but that's not quite right. CRT, I'm pretty sure that's a certificate. Uh, CER and DER definitely are. They're also they're certificate formats, and they also can be file extensions. .cer usually just stands for certificate. .pem, that is definitely a certificate format or a, a file extension that you would have. Privacy Enhanced Mail is what it stands for. LOB, that's not, I think it's just a red herring. That's not anything. So I think this would be right here. Okay. So let me just check over the answers here. See if you took it from a user. Josh Brodson. And we got that, I think that's Broken Chain of Trust. I think that makes the most sense. And what can we describe this? I think because of the header and the footer, this is going to be a CER and probably a .pem certificate. I don't know if it's self-signed, but it's not a signing requester. That would be shown in the header and the footer there. And it's not DER because this would be a binary output. So I'm pretty confident about that. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and, and finish. Oh, no, we got one more question. Oh, what is the primary purpose of a P12 certificate? P12 certificate is usually used to protect keys. Like, it's usually an RSA, River Shamir, Adelman uh, encryption that can use other encryption types, but it's usually, usually RSA algorithm encrypted certificate to protect a, a private key. Store an odd log, store a key. Yeah. Sign a document, perform signing request. I'm pretty sure it's just to store a key. Okay. That's a good question. All right. Let's see how we did. Okay. Great. Great. And we did, we got nine out of nine points. So let's take a look here. We have what best describes the certificate CER.pandex509. Okay. That's right. Why is it right? Uh, 
PEM certificate is indicated by the header and footer, begin certificate, end certificate. Since the certificate is not PEM, it is most likely following the X509 standard, which is used to validate websites enable HTTPS connections using TLS. Sorry, right, great. Uses a CER certificate format. Evidence since this is written in ASCII. Can't determine if it's self-signed. Okay, I think that makes sense there. The Cybercraft certificate was issued by the Internet Security Research Group. The client is missing this certificate. Is it in, this indicates a broken chain of trust. Yeah, we're missing the certificate here in the certificate store. All right. Primary purpose of P12 certificate store key. And then these are valid certificate formats. Okay, great. Well, I hope this is helpful. I hope this is a good explanation for you. Uh, this is pretty similar to what you'll see on the real test, something like this, where you have to troubleshoot a certificate format and that's what we're trying to do here with the new certificate the new pbq format you'll find a lot of questions like this more questions than even this in our uh, cybercraft security plus course so i invite you to take a look at that course too if you're interested in earning your certi security plus certification on the first try but thanks so much hope this is helpful have a great day